Okay, hello. This is probably gonna be the last episode of record tonight. Uh, it's like six in the morning. <laughs> I, I woke up, so it's not like I woke up six in the morning and was like, yeah, let's record videos today. I woke up and said, oh, you know. Let's record some <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm probably gonna, uh, I don't think I'm gonna lay back down, but there's really nothing to do right now, so I might just lay down and fall into the game for Uh, I guess since I'm making a solo video, I kinda wanna talk about this. Uh, I wanna talk about the game group con con controversy that ran up, that popped up recently. So basically, if you don't know, Dan's, uh, Danny, Sex Baker, Dan Avedan, been accused of. First, he got accused of grouping a fan, which I mean, makes no sense at all because the fan, he said, the whole, the whole basis of him grooming this fan is literally, he sent one message when she was 17, he sent one message when she was 18 saying happy birthday, and when she was 22, uh, they sent a lot of messages and they fucked. <laughs> How's that grooming, by the way? I would get it if he was sending constant messages to her until she was 18, and then she, then they fucked. But it was legit like two messages from the time she was 17 to 18, and then really like both just dumb nonsense. Like one was like, "Hey, when do you turn 18?" And the other was, "Hey, happy birthday." And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so yeah. And I think the whole thing with him getting canceled over this is dumb because I get um, the women being mad. It's a dick. It's a dick move to go with somebody and stuff, you know. And I think he's kind of a scummy. But I wouldn't say he's a 100% scumbag either because there's people in like just real world who do that. They go to bars. They go to bars and just uh, um hit on girls and just do one night stands. It's just a normal thing. And I don't know why we are holding YouTubers to the highest standard now of living rather than doing the normal thing, you know? Because there's so many uh, people who, uh... There's so many people who, uh... hold YouTubers to the highest standard, standard imaginable. Like... Like, more than gods. Um... Like there was um, there's a whole call me Carson situation. He had consensual sex with, or he didn't even have consensual sex. He had a, he had a relationship with a 17 year old when he was 21. Um, actually, I think it was 20. Wait, let me see how much it was. It was 17. I think it was 20. Cause I think I, I remember it was either. It was like a three year age, age gap and everybody got pissed about it. And everybody kept throwing around the word power dynamic in that relationship. But the thing is, he got his whole, like, he got his whole, uh, YouTube career and stuff taken away from that. Who really has more power in this whole power dynamic thing? If the one person, uh, if the YouTuber who got, who got called out by one person doesn't make videos anymore because of that, you know? But yeah, I think that's a really, really dumb take. Uh, because like, of course, I agree 100% with people who say what Danny did was sneezy. Because it was sneezy. He, he, and people were saying that he there was a a part of power in that in that relationship. Yes, there was. I'm not going to say 100 percent that there was a a thing of power where Danny was the game grew up who everybody loves. So he was just gonna and he kind of just was like he 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 was just pretty much said oh, I'm I'm Danny from the game grumps and he got fucked. But that's a groupy thing. And, um, a lot of people, I don't, I don't see enough people bringing up the point that every fucking rock band in the history of rock bands have, has had groupies. And if you, if you, 
if you like listen to like Danny's like what Danny's all for and what he wants to do and stuff, he wants to be a rock star. So it kind of makes sense if he's a rock star that he would get uh, he would live the rock star life, um, happy groupies and stuff. You know. I don't agree with the people who say uh, that Danny's a abuser for. <laughs> Uh, having sex with a fan. And I don't agree with people who say, uh, having sex with a fan is 100% wrong at all points in time because there's so many relationships that started off with them being fans. Like, I'm pretty certain Donkey and Leah, like, Leah didn't get Donkey and his girlfriend. She was a fan, uh, and that relationship was actually pretty good. Or still pretty good. Um,. Noble and Ashley, uh, I don't think every, anybody really knows Lost Pauls, or, I don't know. If you guys know Lost Pauls, though, he's like a older, uh, anime YouTuber. He used to do visual novel content until YouTube said, <laughs> nah, you're not gonna do that anymore. And, and raped him, and now he's back, and he does, like, he's pretty much like the anime PewDiePie. He refused anime memes, and... But he, he's, he's dating somebody named Ashley, and she was a fan, and this relationship is like, it's pretty wholesome from what I can see. I really hate when she's in the video stuff, is, uh, I know so many women, women like her, where she, they're, they're shy, so they don't want to say anything. Which makes sense, but why are you going to put her on a video if she's so shy, she doesn't really say anything? She isn't adding anything to the video. <laughs> uh, but whatever. But yeah, I think the whole, uh, I think the whole thing of saying Danny's worse than Hitler for fucking a fan and then, uh, saying that or just saying he's a scummy person. I think saying he's a scummy person justified, but saying he's worse than Hitler, uh, is, is stupid. Because like, there's one, um, where post where somebody was talking about, uh, how Danny, Danny is worse than Bill Cosby. Because if you go into a party, you're expect you're you're 100 percent expected to get raped, you know. Because that's what that's what he said. He's pretty much said it, it comes with the territory. If you go to a party, you have to expect to get raped. He's like, no, no, you're not. And the whole thing was like, oh, since they were talking to Danny, they were they didn't expect to have sex. But I'm fairly certain when Danny said said, hey, do you want to do this? They didn't say no. But it was a consensual sex, you know. And since one of those things you can take away, but you can't take away three months later. I think that's what people don't understand. Because, like, there's been so many times where, where I, I have had personal friends who have been affected by this, where they will have sex with a woman, they will, they will like, date this woman, and when they break up, uh, they get accused of rape because they had sex, and three months later, after they broke up, she decided that she didn't want to do it anymore. It's like, what? I don't understand if it's like, Let's say you're in the middle of like, he's about to insert insert his penis right into you, and you're like, no, and then he, t he takes it out. That's how you can stop, you know? But three months later, that's, you can't just say that, you know? So there's been there's been a few cases of that ha happening, of people getting uh, Me too uh, for like nothing. And I think that's like the dumbest take in the world. And yeah, but uh, final final stance on the whole Danny uh, sex bang situation. I I think what he did was was scummy, of course. Uh, um, and I think the women had a right to come out, but I don't think his anything more should come of it more than maybe memes or something like that because. For real, what he did was, he did nothing wrong, besides, like, ghosting the women, like, he, he, the women, all the women he fucked were over 18, most of the time over 20, um, and a lot of people were yelling about the age, too, because he's, like, 40, yo, Leonardo DiCaprio's, like, 50, uh, or 60, and, he's, and he hasn't dated a woman, a woman under the age of 20. So I shut the fuck up with that. 
quote-unquote age, age nonsense. If they're, both, if they're over the age of consent, and they're over the age of 18, it shouldn't matter, you know? They're both consensual adults in this relationship, which they were. I really hate the whole, uh, thing of not, uh, of people saying consent isn't always, uh, even if they give consent, it's not, uh, it's not okay, it's weird. Cause there's been a whole new movement on the internet of people being offended on other people's behalf, and just people just not wanting to uh, be normal people about anything. It's stupid. I'm gonna put my headphones back on. I think how I'm wearing them right now is just the worst. Yet was I put them on immediately? Uh, the audio is better. Did I level him up to level 20? I have one more battle and then we should be level 20. But yeah, I finally I finally got to talk about that fucking situation. I've been I've been wanting to make a video about the whole Dan Avidan situation for a while, but I haven't, I haven't had the chance to. Of course, I think I have a little bit of bias on that Dan on the Game Grum situation, just because I am a fan. Some people are like, "Oh, you have a bias." Like, yeah, of course I do. But again, I don't think that bias really affects too much because I don't I, I don't agree with how people are actually handling the situation too, you know. But now we get to see. Uh, this guy evolve. You got a needle king. A legit only get him uh, to get a Nido King. I like Neo King so much. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We have to level up. I think I'm gonna take out Beedrill. Beedrill just doesn't do much. But here's the deal. I think I have a, I, my Pokemon are high enough level to get through Misty's gym. So let's do this. There's only legit one Vetra type Pokemon you get through this uh, at this point of the game, which is uh, you can get um, Pikachu. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I think you can get uh, Tinnacle, who knows, I think, uh, I think he knows one Vetra type move. But yeah. was super effective. Pikachu bitch slapped that guy. I'm just going to use the Pikachu as long as I can. Oh my god, that was like the worst attack I could have I done at that point in time. Yeah, see. Hopefully, this chicken uh, salad isn't bad. Isn't bad. <laughs> it's been it's been out all night, but it's been out with an open window and a fan on it all night. So I'm guessing it's not gonna be that bad. But again, it has been out all night too. <laughs> I, I just couldn't. I just didn't want to take it up. But last night I was too lazy. Just do this. 
Face the last person that maze gym. Let's battle. I hate I hate that move's name. I hate it. <laughs> Water sports, I hate it. Oh dude, this is a good story, okay. So I was at school a few uh, a few days ago. Um and me and my buddy, we write each other's papers because you know it's what you do in school. You just fuck around with your friends. So I write on this paper, so I write like hentai or gay or fucking faggot or whatever I type in that, that just, whatever I want to write in that in that moment in time. So I write on this paper, and uh, he uh, so that day he wrote on the back of my binder and he wrote Fuda. So I was like, you know, it'd be funny if I just kept writing hentai tag. So I wrote Yuri, and he. And then uh, he wrote Yaoi, and we just went back and forth until we got down to like Gura, Guru, uh, and like Umpa Umpa Umpa. Which you know what either of the ones of the, one of those are. I think I, I mispronounced one or both of them. Goro is basically being being uh, sexually attracted to Gore, and Umpa Umpa, if I'm saying that right, or Upa Upa is um basically the sexual attraction to shoving ch shoving bugs up your vagina or sexual orifice but this is where i'm in the episode guys i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna uh at the beginning of the next episode we're gonna fight misty and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys did leave a like if you guys didn't dislike it you know it really would hurt my my feelings but you can do it <laughs> but yeah uh, if you guys have any suggestions for games I should play in the future, uh, leave in the comments down below. And if you uh, want to be my friend on Discord, leave your Discord name. Uh, never mind, don't do that. <laughs> uh, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.